is why celebrities like Tina Fey and Queen Latifah look so gorgeous on the red carpet, and now he's ready to make our bride-to-be look like a star on her wedding day. Please welcome back to the show fashion designer David Meister and our bride-to-be, Gabby. Welcome, welcome. Okay. All right, so the trends. Let's start with the yeah. trends this year. Trends. You know, we're seeing a lot of trends um, that are interesting this year. A, for so long, it's always been about the perfect big princess dress. Mm -hmm. We're seeing way less of that. Things are getting a little sexier and more glamorous. Um, still about 90% of all bridal gowns sold are strapless. That is the one thing that consistently is across the board. Most girls want to be in a strapless gown. Even Kate, even though Kate Middleton wore her, because that was required to be in a church to cover up her whatever. Her everything. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and she You're had, not, yeah. To the that sleeve. Didn't ha yeah, it had nothing, nobody picked up on that. Actually, if you want a bridal gown with sleeves, odds are you'll often buy a, a strapless gown and they'll do something to add sleeves. To really, really find a gown with sleeves, most girls, especially most girls that are getting married are somewhat younger. Yeah. And they don't want to feel like they're covered up to here and here. So no, sleeves not such a big trend. What's with the traditional white um, theme? I mean, that's a tradition, but the, we're seeing a yeah. movement away from that? It's a tradition, but you know back, I think it was in Victorian times, the traditional color was black to get married in. Really? So yeah, this is something that's evolved. You know, most brides now still opt for white or more and more are going for a soft sort of champagne or ivory. Jeff Jessica Biel had pink. Pink. Yeah. Pink is a big thing. Some women are wearing pink, silvers, pale blues. I think they're beautiful. They're perfect for the fashion forward kind of bride. But I think for a lot of women, like they've had this thing, they've dreamed of a beautiful wedding dress. And so I think that's for a very specific customer. Sure. Do you have any wedding fashion don'ts on that <laughs> special? <laughs> well, I, I do. I think don't drink too much champagne before you walk down the aisle. Um, I think don't overdo your spray tan. You see so many girls because they think they're wearing a white or pale color dress. They've got to be tan. And I've seen yeah. a lot of orange brides. So, and I think you look great. If you have, tend to be pale skinned, I think it can be fine to be in a soft dress. Plus you sweat when you dance. I know, and that's, all over that's your really dress. beautiful when you see Ew. the orange. Ooh, oh, is Ew. right. Ew. Orange <laughs> dripping down that gown. Yes. Run. Yeah. So much for wedding night. You know, the other thing though, she is, you have a great skin color. Yes, Thank She you. has beautiful yeah. skin coloring, yeah. which I think is great. Yeah. So, and the other big trend that you don't um, see so much, but it's going on, is underneath the gown, women are not wearing white shoes. They're wearing color. Red is huge. People are wearing metallic shoes. My niece who's getting married this summer is wearing purple shoes. I love so that. It's kind of like see them anyway. No, and it's kind of like a little bit younger, kind of fun, kind of kick to it. So, so Gabby, I, let me ask you this. But yeah. now you listen to what David has to say, and sometimes you feel so locked into doing the traditional thing. Are you? Or where's your direction going after you discuss? Because you guys talked on the phone, right? We did. A little bit? We did. Yeah, we've, so where where do you feel as far as your choices are going, or leading you down a path that was that was close to what you'd wanted, or something that's much different? Um, I wanted a big poofy dress, mm -hmm. but now I'm going more towards the elegant, tight. Because what? Because he's given you sort of the permission, as you said. We're seeing more and more of that, or is it? I think it's something that she, you know, she tried on several dresses, as we'll see coming up. And I think oftentimes people have in their mind what they think the perfect dress is. Right. Then sure. you start trying on other stuff and it's like, oh, wow. Is yeah. that what happened to you, Gabby? I never even thought about trying those on. And once I tried on his dresses, it was exactly what I wanted. Wow. Yeah. So, so in other words, you kind of just start thinking outside of the box because of these sort of rules that we've put on ourselves that you're saying are now taken away. Get rid of the rules. And I tell people when they're in the store in general trying anything on, everyone puts themselves in a box. And they think, I can't wear this, this won't work on me, this won't work. And I always say, take one item that you think, you say, I can't wear. And I'm like, you're in that fitting room by yourself. The worst thing that can happen, it looks like, like really bad, and you have a good laugh, and it's all by yourself. <laughs> the best thing that can happen is you look, oh, wow, I can wear this. And you've kind of like stretched your boundaries a little bit. People, I think, are a little too critical and afraid to try new things. So like, ex get rid of the box. Well, Gabby, you sent David a lot of pictures that you tore out of wedding dresses, I did. right? So yes. that, that inspired you, right? Mm -hmm. So when, based on what she sent you, David, were you able to get a sense of what she wanted? Yes, after I saw the, the dresses, I definitely had a feel for the way she was going. Some of it I agreed with, some of it I wasn't so sure, but I pulled a bunch of different dresses to send to her right. so she could kind of go through and pull. And then we picked from there and she tried some things. And we're gonna do our own little magic and combinations of things to create a unique dress for her. But it's a unique location because we're doing it here. 
uh, in the backyard. Right. So how much will the decisions be shaped and molded by the atmosphere, the location that this is all happening in? You know, I think location definitely play, plays a part in it. Um, I certainly would not do a huge ball gown with a 30-foot train in the mm -hmm. backyard, not good. I think it's going to be warm when we do the wedding. Mm -hmm. I certainly would not do anything real heavy and cover it up. So I think you have, I mean, of course you'll have a train, but it'll be in scale to the venue. I think venue and location is key and time of day is to what you pick and, and what you choose for your gown. Now, Gabby, I know before you agreed, and uh, Charlie agreed to do this, you had picked out what you wanted for your bridesmaids. So I that did. was already done. Mm -hmm. So how much of that did you incorporate into the design of her wedding gown? Uh, based on what she chose for the bridesmaids? Um, there's really not a lot. The, the dress that she chose for her bridesmaids is fairly classic. And can I say the color? Of course you can. Okay, I didn't know if we were. <laughs> oh, wait, no, because we did the yeah. flowers. Oh, you did the flowers. Okay, yeah. so you did. Okay, so it's black and it's a strapless, kind of very classic. It's a very pretty um, gown. It's organza, which I think is a great fabric for summer. So, you know, I think it's gonna, they're gonna work well with the gown, but I don't think we wanted to influence that because it's about her. So the gown's gotta be what she wants, and I think those will be just a perfect accessory to it. What's this process like for you? Because I know you do celebrities, stars on the red carpet. You go through sort of a process with them as you get to this creation. What's it been like working with Gabby doing this particular dress? Well, I think it's been pretty easy. I think she's been very easy to talk with. She definitely knows what she likes and what she doesn't like, which I love. Because some people don't, well, I don't know. And then it's like, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's like a, a wild chase. Um, and a, bri a bridal party or wedding day for any girl, it's like her the biggest red carpet moment of her life. Sure. So to me, it's the exact same process as dressing a celebrity for a red carpet. You want to stand out. You want to look amazing. You're going to be photographed. Those photographs are going to be around for the rest of your life. So it's very much the same process. Mm -hmm. All right, when we come back, Gabby's going to make some key decisions about what she wants her wedding dress to look like so David can get to work. Okay. so much fun looking through all these beautiful fabrics and we're back with celebrity fashion designer David Meister and Gabby Kiss who is our bride to be and right now we're going to get started with Gabby making some very important decisions for how she wants to design her wedding dress. Now these are gorgeous fabrics David. So what do you consider when you're looking at this? What are the main elements that we need to think of? First element always in creating a bridal gown is silhouette. Shape, the neckline, and do you want a ball gown, do you want a mermaid? It's usually silhouette, shape, neckline, and then you kind of go from there, and then you work with the fabrics and details and kind of work backwards into that. Now you sent, uh, Gabby, a variety of dresses from a collection so she can yes. see different shapes and necklines. We sent a bunch of different evening gowns because, again, bridal gowns and evening gowns, very similar. It's a more dramatic version of an evening gown, but they have a lot of the exact same details. So I think you can get a good idea of what you like and don't like for a bridal gown by trying on evening gowns. So you sent over a bunch of dresses, Gabby, that you went through. By the way, where's Charlie? Is, yeah. did he, he doesn't want anything to do with anything with the wedding dress. Yeah, he can't Nothing see. at all? No, okay. he didn't want to come. All right, so but. here's who trying on some of these for us. All this right. was, you know, Gabby sent me, oh, these wow. are quick, okay. like a little glamour. We've got different looks. We have mermaid, we've tried strapless, we had the lace dress, which went quickly before. Here's a more traditional strapless ball gown silhouette in a beautiful textured fabric. This is sort of a modern take on a mermaid. It's got the soft fullness coming from the knee with the stretch and the draping across and the strapless. This is a more covered up, more kind of sophisticated look. It's got the soft chiffon side panels that kind of float and move when you walk. But again, just very simple and covered up. So Gabby, of these five dresses, which silhouette and shape did you want for your dress? Of these five? Um, I was leaning more towards the teal one. I like teal the one sweetheart. Being this one right here? Yeah, that one. The second one? It is. Okay, second <laughs> one. Yes. I like the sweetheart neckline. I liked the mermaid, how it started up high on the waist. And I think, you know, what we've learned also from her trying these dresses on, and we've pulled some different elements from different things. I had sent some sketches as well. You know, Gabby had also really responded to like the bow detail over here. She likes to take on bows. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, working from this is our core, the idea of this sexy strapless with this kind of dramatic draping and mermaid will do a great train. And we're gonna work some of these other elements into it that she likes. Well, I know, Gabby, you also liked the one with the strap in the back. The there one in the, the middle, middle on the top, yeah. Yes. The very bare, sexy halter that's very low in the mm -hmm. back. 
and the beading around the waist, that's a very, very sexy take on a bridal yeah. gown. And I think it's interesting, even from what we, where we started, how she's kind of come to this silhouette, because that was one of the silhouettes she originally said she didn't think she'd like or want. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really interesting. And I think from there, then, it's about color. You know, and as you can see from the table here, tons of different colors and laces. You know, there are a million different shades of white. A lot of people, and I think, to my personal taste, is it's a soft white. It's like a soft, they can call it candle glow, champagne, ivory, whatever you want to call it. But it really works well against most skin tones. It's much softer than trying to do a white white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, I talked about bad tans before. A lot of times when people go with a stark white, they feel like they really have to amp up the tan factor. Now, what about the fabric itself? What is, should it feel like and how should it flow? You know, for a shape like we're talking about, it really needs to have some body to it. It needs to have some stiffness so it holds a shape. So it's still soft and airy, but it holds a shape. Right. Very important. You know, so I think, you know, we've kind of agreed um, that we kind of are liking these soft ivories, mm. which I think is a very smart yeah. move also. And, you know, we have the silhouette that we love, and we're kind of going to work from there. We're going to start some things and we're gonna have our fittings and we'll kind of proceed from there. And how do you kick it up a notch with the decorative? Kick it up a notch, yeah. I like that, yeah. kick it up a notch. Huh? Well, um, we are gonna do some beading. Works. You know, beading is beautiful on bridal gowns, so we're gonna do some very ornate beading on it yeah. in places to make it special. You know, I think that looks great too because it sh throws a little shimmer. And what I love about beading when you're getting married outside in the summer, the sun, and anything that shines, the way the light will catch and sparkle off of it. Yeah. So that makes it very pretty and special also. But you can go too far with that, yeah? If you're not oh, careful. you can go way too, too yeah. far, but I'm doing this. Yeah. So we don't have to worry yeah. about that. I know, but if you get a bride who's like, more oh my beads, God. more beads. Oh, there you are gotta some brides that get lost between Scarlett O'Hara and the hoop and the beads and the lace, and it's like, yeah! <laughs> it's like you just want to run up and start. You know like Cinderella's stepsisters kind of ripped her to right, shreds? Right, right. That's what I want to do. <laughs> you're like, wait, no. I'm not saying that's you, Gabby. I'm no, just no, saying. No, don't worry. Yeah. Not going to happen. Good hands. I have David. It's a word to our viewers that, uh, yeah. all right, so pull it together for where do we're going with what, what, and what? Okay, we are going with the silhouette. It's going to be very similar with a few tweaks Here. to this. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a fabric in this beautiful sort of champagne color. Mm -hmm. We're not showing you the exact fabric, but as right. a teaser, we're going to have this color, and we are going to have beaded detail. This is not the exact beading, but we're going to have Go beading that, that kind of works across the shape of the body that's going to give it a little more glamour, mm -hmm. and it will definitely probably have a more dramatic skirt at the bottom and a train, because every bride needs a train walking down that aisle. Is that uh, an I, answer yeah. put, does that put to rest all your questions that you may have it in does. the direction it's going? Mm -hmm. okay. And you're going to change the top to the bow? Or are you no, we're going to work a bow detail into okay. it. All right. You're going to surprise yeah. us. It's going to be a yeah. mystery. Yeah. A mystery. All right. A mystery. Right. You can't give too much away as a bride. No, that's You true. want that shock factor. When everyone turns around, they go, <gasps> Yeah. We yes. don't even want to reveal it to our audience or even to us, right? No. We should be surprised on the wedding no. day. Yeah, and Charlie, make sure he's not watching. He's, he's going to get details. Charlie's not watching. You're dead. <laughs> okay. We're coming after you. He's not watching today. So we got a lot done today. And keep following the wedding series to find out how David combines all of these details to make Gabby's dream wedding dress, which I'm sure is going to be spectacular. Today. We're excited. Sure. It's going to be a lot of fun. And nice go to davidmeister.com. You can see Gabby. all sorts of, yeah. of wonderful creations um, that David has done over the years. Thank you so much, Thank David. Thank you. Gabby. Gabby. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Said hi. Yes. I will. Good, 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 good. Up next, Tracy Metro is here. She's going to show us how to put some old things you might have lying around the house to good use. And it's all next.